Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 21 of Fire Force. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And so. Yeah, but you ain't gonna tell. You're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, just grab her and go. Falcon's gonna get you. Well, okay. You can just say the first like full what's this four minutes? Yeah. First four minutes of this DM episode. Intense as fuck. Holy shit. But I mean if Ovi and Val can just go ahead and defeat Giovanni and take her back with them, we be good. That's it. You can just end the episode after that. That's it. We ain't gotta do anything else. But I still kinda want everybody else to move where Ovi and Valcon and Lisa are. Because I mean, okay. 
two against one is good. That's fine. Thank God it ain't two on two anymore because of Lisa. But since it's, do I want Lisa to fight? Necessarily a little bit. It's two on three. But because of the fact is, uh, I'm about to say Valkyrie, Giovanni has her in this hold. How, because their relationship is so fucking similar to freaking, um, and I think I said this last week, Overhaul and Eddie Chong from My Hero. Because my God, just like the, the shit that he has over her, like, mm, it makes my freaking spine chill. Like, shiver and shit. I don't like that. <laughs> he scares me. No. Shit, it's so weird. Yeah. Lisa! Yes, you can! Oh, hell no, he ain't going to shoot Buzz Boy. When you got, like, something on you? Chopper vest, some shit? Don't be. Be a man and shoot him with pride. And plus, he probably got a bullet through his vest on him or something. Just do it! Mm. <laughs> of course.
and go from something like this, you never know. Mm -mm. Mm. So what the fuck? Mm -mm. Oh. oh. Mm. Bro, what the fuck? Nah, you get traumatized after that. Oh, they're leading you somewhere. Things kind of going according to plan now. Possibly. Because something tells me freaking Victor's going to do something. Because why would you like zoom in on Victor's eye like that? Just saying.
Are we finally going to see you two fight today? That's not true. Oh. oh, you're so cute. I love him. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh. Jesus Christ, now I feel like I'm watching a cinematic experience with this. Uh-oh. Fuck. We went on one and oh my god! And it's already happened. True. Fuck him, please. <laughs> like, goddamn, screw him. He's crazy. Get to my nerves. Shut up.
There's still no match for your little brother. Like, oh my god, just please stop. Listen to Victor. Motherfucker! God damn it! That <laughs> is getting so fucking good! Why would you do that? I don't want to wait till next Friday, god damn it. Okay, can we just talk about how beautifully this fight was? Even though we barely were able to see, like, the first thing, because, you know, they were gone, and you're like, well, where the hell did they go? And you're looking at Victor, and Victor's wondering where they went, but just the way it was shot by shot by shot by shot holy fucking shit like that is like some top tier i felt like you know oh my god i felt like i was watching like an imax movie for a minute like just the way it just felt the cinematography the poses of where like the camera was moving and everything jesus christ that's like that that's next level experience and there's only not every anime can do it there are like top tiers of animes that can do it and this is officially one of them and there's just so many technologies that I can't remember them all right now but god damn that was nice I mean ugh, I really wanted Shinra to just run I mean cause like he is getting his ass handed to him by his little brother and I love his little brother though damn I'd be so fucking cute I mean like god damn he's just so fucking adorable and I just want to battle him my god this cute little boy has, like, so much a big star, oh my god! I mean, Shinra, yeah, he opened his fuck, too, but, like, when it comes to his little brother, that's, like, a whole nother thing, but, okay, the fucking devil part, that whole part, and Shinra's looking down, and it's smoke all around him, he's in the other world where Sho has officially taken him, took him, and then you see Shinra, another Shinra, like, above him, and then, like, it, I don't know if it was bl it wasn't blood, because it would have been a lot redder, but it seemed like it was, but, like, the, the shit that was coming out of his mouth, I mean, damn, after seeing that, who wouldn't be fucking traumatized? That's, like, shit from nightmares or some shit, like, if you sit and watch, like, a whole bunch of good-ass scary movies, or you play, like, a good-ass scary game, and you can't sleep at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, yeah, you probably be thinking about shit like that, I mean, mm-hmm. I was like, you know, like, mm-mm. <laughs> but it looked really, really, even though it was creepy as fuck and I loved it, I still felt scared and shit. Like, that kind of, I don't think it traumatized me either, but, like, that just freaked me out a little bit. But like, whoa, what the fuck? But just out of the creepiness to this show, excluding everything else that's also in the show, but just the creepiness factor that they do. Certain things, like, I feel like, Going back to maybe, like, the first few episodes and just seeing the Infernal that killed their mom. Like, that shit was creepy. And then seeing what we saw in this episode, that was just, like, pfft, a thousand times more creepy. Seeing, it, it seemed like it was the same Infernal, except his horns weren't on top of his head. It was literally in his eyes. But that shit, I don't know. That shit kind of gave me, like, Resident Evil vibes. And I was just like, mm -mm -mm, nope. <laughs> Make me want to get a gun and just kill it. But, like, mm -mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it was a really damn good episode. I'm happy that, you know, they have Lisa back. That's the good thing. But she's still going to be brainwashed under the influence of Giovanni. So, I mean, there might... <sighs> do I think she could possibly be normal again? I, I do, like, I'm very hopeful for it. I feel like it's 50-50, like, I'm very, very hopeful for her, but then at the same time, you never really truly know what they could possibly do to her. 
are really for her. I just think they're going to keep her and they're going to try their best. I don't think, I don't really want, mm, how should I say this? Because we only got, I think we got to like, excuse me, um, two or three more episodes left for her. Yeah, three more episodes before we're done. Okay. I don't want it to be like, they take her back to 8th and they try to do everything that she they can for her. And then it's the middle of the night and she escapes when everybody's sleeping. Yes, that's a smart thing to do. But I mean, because of the fact that she is under Giovanni's like brainwashing influence, she's always going to want to be around him. Even with the fact is that, yeah, he was about to kill her in this episode. I didn't really want him to kill her. I, I honestly really want Giovanni to die. And even though he's not officially dead, I feel like maybe the second half of this show before it goes on break. Um, no, well, after it goes on its break, but when we get to the second half of the show, I feel like he's going to die. Maybe by episode before... The show has, I think, what, 40, 48, 50 episodes, I'm thinking. It's either 48, 49, or 50 episodes, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Um... Because all I remember is it's going to have, like, a two-core. So I think it's, like, 48 episodes. I want him, if he does die, I want him to die at least by episode 30. Maybe. If not episode 30, maybe 40. Depending on however they have to do what they got to do. But it was a damn good episode. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 21 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the matches button. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 22. Bye, guys.